I wanted to do a DIY with milk bottles, but I couldn't find any, so I saw this thing where you take Frappuccino bottles instead, so that's what I did. I bought them, I drank them, I got really caffeinated, I took the labels off, soaked them, and then spray painted them. I did three coats because of the expiration date kept coming through. And then I decided I wanted to put them in a crate, so I found this one at Hobby Lobby for 50% off and thought, hmm, that'll be perfect. So I put the bottles in, found flowers at Walmart, I cut the stems so they would be separated, I put them in the bottles as I wanted, and then sat them next to my record player. There you go, farmhouse DIY home decor. I really wanted a custom neon sign, but I wasn't ready to pay hundreds of dollars for it. So I decided to make it myself. You need a stretched canvas, LED wire, and a hot glue gun. I started by writing my text on the canvas. I punched holes so that I can hide parts of the LED wire that I don't want to see. I'm using the hot glue gun to secure the wire on the surface. This whole project only took me an hour and 15 minutes. Don't forget to secure the back. And this is how it turned out. How to make your house look expensive on a budget. Natural stones like marble and quartz scream high-end. However, you don't have to fully remodel your kitchen or have a marble fireplace to get that look. The key is to incorporate smaller marble or stone pieces into your design. Almost any item with an organic or natural feel is going to look sophisticated, even if it's small quantities. Now this might be hard to swallow, but clutter can ruin the look of any room. Keeping services clean is key. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on your house if it's full of junk. Choosing high quality fabrics and materials can elevate a room instantly. An affordable way to do this is to incorporate beautiful fabrics like linens and weaves in your throw pillows or maybe your bedding. Owning and taking care of real plants is a great way to bring sophistication into any space. Also, don't be afraid to forge a little bit for wild greenery and flowers. I love to put these in vases and sprinkle them around my house. I hope this inspired you. Follow for more. So I have this little wall at the top of my stairs that I've never really known what to do with, so I had an idea. Let's do another arch. You guys gave me a ton of feedback on the last video, so I figured I would apply that to the new tutorial and show you the new method. So I'm still using the string method, only this time I'm taping it to the center of the wall, and then I tape off the edges, and I swear I got like a thousand comments telling me to paint the original color of the wall first so that there's less paint bleeding through. So I did that, and then I'm painting the arch like normal. And I got a lot of comments last time telling me that it looked asymmetrical and wonky, and that's on me. I said the word perfect, and I should not have said that. Obviously, if a human is doing it, it's always going to be a little bit imperfect. But I obsessed over it a little bit this time, and so my advice is don't obsess, because it just it's going to look worse on camera than it does in real life. Like, nobody notices it when they're actually in your house. So anyway, I'm taking off the tape, and the tape trick kind of worked. There's still some spots where it bled through, so I had to touch up the edges anyway. And then I just decorate it and I'm done. So like and follow for more artsy fartsy projects. Cut your wood at 30 degree angles on both sides with your longest side being five and a half inches. You will need six pieces per shelf. So we made 24 to create four shelves and then stain them. After we laid out six pieces for one shelf side by side and taped them together. After you get them taped together, you will stand them up and then apply clear silicone in between each one. Once all the silicone is applied, you'll put them all together and then tape the ends together to make a hexagon. Once they're dry, you can take the tape off. Thank you.
Thank you.